Hello everyone, this is Harsimran Singh from Locus. Today I'm going to show you how to export and import your data to Locus. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to click on the user profile here. Click on settings. Click on apps and integrations. Click on export and import. So you will see four tabs, clients, matter, expenses, and time entries. So export your data, you can just export, click on export, click on export tab, select how you want to export, and the same process is for expenses and time entries. To import your data, click on import, download the sample file. Once the file is downloaded, the file will look like this. So enter your data into this format, these columns. Don't add any new columns. If you have primary email, add a primary email, add a primary phone, add emails. If there are multiple emails you have for a contact, add multiple emails separated by a semicolon. Same with the phones and the addresses. Once you your file is ready, upload a file here and it will upload all the clients. So please follow the order, upload clients first and then upload matters, then expenses and then time entries. For the matters, again go to matters, click on import, download the sample file. So for matters import file, don't add new columns to this. Keep the columns same, add your matter name, Add the pipeline name and stage name. If the pipe na pipeline name and stage name doesn't exist in Locus, we are going to create it. Add your number for, for the matter, open date, practice area, case description, matter close, close date, due date, and client name. This client name should match with your client files you already uploaded. You can also export your data from matters. So we go here. Either you can filter it from here, this view, or you can go to a list view. You can click on filters and apply any filter. So for example, let's say I add a tag and I say I want to export everything which is H1B. You can add any number of filters and then you can click here and then export. And this will export only the columns which you have on this. So you can add multiple columns. You can add multiple custom fields like this. So you can select which columns or which custom fields you want to export. If I remove the filter, I can export all of them like this. Same with the contacts. You can click on contacts, click on filter, apply any filter you need. So let's say a friend or a millennial and then select here and download the comma separated file. Thank you very much.